Brian, and thank you to all of you. I am really thrilled to be here today. I would love to share some stories with you, one in particular that I know is going to move you, so please get the tissues ready, pre-warning. <laughs> um, my work is all about creative Photoshop and photography work. I love to make a difference with my work, and I am going to show you that. But before I do, I thought I'd share just a few examples of the type of work I do on a day-to-day -day basis, commercially and domestically. I like to create, I like to be innovative, I like to in induce a little humour into my work. So I, I love to work with animals, obviously, too. But one of the things that moves me the most is to use my art to make a difference in lives. This led to me hearing from a mother who had a little girl, this little girl here, Talia, who couldn't walk, couldn't hold herself up, couldn't speak. And she reached out to me after seeing my work, asking if I could create something that would free her from these restrictions. I said yes straight away because I knew that this was something that I wanted to do apart from creating for myself and creating for others and, and bringing humour, I knew that my art could make a difference in her world. So I worked with uh, some other photographers and some other people to help bring this project together. People uh, just came alongside to really work with me on this. Uh, and I think that's a key in getting out there and making a difference is it's very hard to do it solo. It is really important to get some people alongside you. So I created this image of Talia, and that was the start of the Heart Project, which moved on to be all about helping families with challenges. Uh, this family here, little Sienna, had cer has cerebral palsy, and she's from a set of triplets. And it was her parents' dream for her to fly free with her siblings. So I, I came up with this idea of Peter Pan and created this so that they've got this series on their wall in a big print. And every day they can look at it and they can see Sienna flying free. And that is giving them some inspiration for the future. Families started approaching me and wanting me to do some work for themselves, for their family members or for people that they knew. And this started what we call the Heart Project. I gathered a team of volunteers that often help me on the projects and some of them go out and do their own projects as well. And we've been able to really impact dozens of people through this. Uh, this has just in, been in the last couple of years. You know. Families that have gone through tragedies like SJ and Hamish, the one that you can see there of her leaping over towards her son in the Blue Mountains. She became a quadriplegic through a routine operation and she used to be an adventurer and this was something that gave her that adventure back with her son. These families that have gone through children with cancer or just devastating circumstances, these images have really, really helped them move forward. And they've helped other people as well. We've gone into uh, hospitals around Australia with the Christmas Wish Project. And you can see here that before, we photographed these children in front of a green screen and they don't realise what's going to become of that. So then they get placed into a magical Christmas scene. These are children that are stuck in hospital during Christmas time and we free them from that and create something magical and then deliver that to the family in person. And it's just an amazing experience and it's, um, yeah, we do, we do, we've been doing it for the last two years and, and also with the thanks of Adobe who have supported us in this project. It's just been an incredible journey. We, we're going worldwide this year. But today, I'm mainly here to share about a recent project. This is the first time that anyone's going to hear about it. And it is something that has really impacted me probably the most out of all the projects that I've done. I received an email and it was quite vague. It was asking me if I could create an image made up of multiple images of this woman's child dressed up in superhero costumes. 
photos that she'd taken that she wanted to send to me to have me put together into an Avengers poster. And, you know, I initially read it and I thought, I feel like there's more to the story than this. I googled her name and I was absolutely devastated when I discovered what her story was. Julian Cadman, who many of you probably recognise, was a victim of the Barcelona terror attacks last August the 17th. He was missing for a few days. His mother, John, was in a hospital uh, in a coma. The father flew over to Barcelona, not sure whether or not Julian was alive or dead. Upon landing, he found out that Julian had passed away. It was this mother's dream to have me create this poster for her of her son because Julian used to dress up in all of these superhero costumes and it was something that was just so special to him. His whole room's full of all of these superheroes and Avengers characters. So straight away, I knew that I needed to do this for her. I knew I didn't want to accept any money for it. I wanted to do this in a way that really helped them in their grieving process and helped them to move through. So I wanted to know exactly what her vision was for this. This was to be her image, something really special for her to celebrate Julian's life. I asked her if she trusted me to create it because I I knew that this was something that I needed to put together knowing what she wanted, and then present to her in person that finished product. I didn't want to have to burden her with that back and forth that sometimes can go on if you're working on a commercial project or something similar. She trusted me. She'd seen my work. She'd found me because she'd Googled for someone that could create something that was in her mind. So she trusted me to go ahead with that. And I needed to deliver it in person. I'm Melbourne-based, but I knew I needed to fly this print up at my own expense to deliver it to this family. It's not something that you can present online. It's something that needed to be printed and presented to them in person. And I needed to be vulnerable. I needed to open up to them and to open up myself to be part of their world. This wasn't just about creating an artwork and then leaving and going on my own way. I needed to be be part of their world and help journey with them and I have been doing that and just becoming a friend to this family who are grieving and going through so much, particularly at this time when it's on Friday, the anniversary of the attacks. So now I am going to share with you a video that shows the process of of what I created. It shows the process of of what we put together. It wasn't just enough that I created this image for her. I also wanted to create a video tribute. And so I gathered a number of musician friends together who were just willingly wanting to get on board. And we recorded a song and we put this together with with the video to help in their grieving process and also hopefully help others that are going through grief and loss. So I'd really like to welcome to the stage Samantha Herald, who is an amazing singer, who is going to sing live for you today while the video plays. Thank you very much. He's our world. He's our life. And the way it was been taken, it's, it's taken away. Seven year old Sydney schoolboy Julian Cadman was killed in last week's terrorist rampage in Barcelona. I asked myself that I needed an artist. So it was actually a very late night when. I was sitting with my thoughts and I came up with a plan, making a poster for for Julian. I discovered you and it appeared like that such a passionate artist would be the person I have been looking for. You do the photo shooting and that won't be possible for my situation anymore. You have accepted the work and gave me a burst of hope. 
to help us honor our dearest Julian's memory. Yeah. When you sent me all those beautiful, beautiful photos of him, I could just see I could just see the finished piece. His expressions and his personalities coming through in all the images. I really, really hope that you love this. Oh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 